Hello, Grade 9 Science class. Welcome back to another lecture. This is Lesson 11, uh, titled Power, nice and short compared to the uh, last lesson's titles. Um, we're going to talk about energy uh, and power and how they're related, and we're going to do some calculations. Uh, and I believe this is the last lesson of the unit for now um, in this particular version of the course. So let's hop right in. Electrical energy, energy and power. So they're both the key points are on the first slide here. Electrical energy, as we kind of talked about before, is the ability to do work by pushing electrons around a circuit. Uh, electrons move around a circuit and light a light bulb, uh, power your computer or your phone, um, and everything in between. They blow down your headphones and vibrate your earphones so that you can hear them. And we measure that in joules. Um, electrical power is the rate of change in electrical energy. So like how fast is the work being done? Obviously a brighter light is going to be doing more work. It is going to be using more energy compared to a dimmer light. So what is the rate of that energy? Um, we measure energy power, electrical power, in watts. And you've probably heard that before. Oh, 60 watt bulb, a 100 watt bulb, a so and so watt. Um, so it's important to understand what that is. It is how much power is being used. What is the rate at which energy is being used? So a higher wattage uses more energy per second. Uh, a watt is a unit of power. One watt is one joule of energy in one second. So a 60 watt bulb uses 60 joules of energy every second and produces 60 joules of heat and light. Uh, energy can be uh, measured in a circuit or in heat or in light, it is just a measure of energy. A 60 watt bulb produces 60 joules of energy every single second. A 100 watt bulb would produce 100 joules of energy. Uh, power consumption is also directly related to voltage, uh, the current, and the amount of time that that device is on. Obviously more power will be consumed if the light is on for longer. So the higher the current and the voltage, and the longer the device is operated, the greater the power consumption. As a result, it would cost more money. So as an example, electric stoves and dryers operate on greater voltage, 220 volts, and current than other devices, so they cost more to operate. Increase voltage, increase current, increase costs, increase power. A toaster and a radio both operate using the same voltage, 110 volts, but the current is uh, more in the toaster, so it costs more to operate. An increased current would increase the power. So we have another um, unit that we use to uh, describe uh, appliances, like your dryer, like your stove, like your fridge. Household electrical consumption is often measured in kilowatt hours. It is more convenient because a lot of energy is consumed in an average house in any given day. So essentially, uh, like every thousand watts per hour is um, a kilowatt hour, and it makes the numbers smaller to talk about. So energy labels on appliances are in kilowatt hours rather than joules, and you'd want that number to be lower. We have a triangle here for us to write down and memorize. So we can calculate power, key point three, uh, calculate a power rating if we know the current and we know the voltage. So a power rating is a measurement of how much electrical energy an electrical device uses for every second it is in use. Uh, using the power rating and the amount of time is something, uh, something is being used, you can find out the total amount of power that is being uh, used for that particular device or that particular item. Let's show you how to use do these calculations. We're gonna do uh, one example of each here. So let's write down our triangle again, just to make some practice. Power, current, and voltage. So our first problem, the flashlight operates on uh, three volts and has a current of four. What is the power? I'm so used to drawing an R, but that should be a P. Power is our question mark. So if we cover up power, 
that means that we are looking at multiplying current and voltage because they're on the same level. So power is equal to current times voltage, which is equal to four times three. The power we would use would be 12, and that is 12 watts. That is our unit for power. Power is 12 watts. That is question one. Question two, a 60 watt bulb. So that means it's giving us power, 60 watts. It's connected to 120 volts, 120 volts. What is the current? Current is our question mark. So let's cover up current in our triangle. That means we have power divided by voltage. So we have current is equal to power divided by voltage, which is equal to 60 divided by 120. 60 divided by 120 is a half. So the current is equal to 0.5 amps. That is the answer for question two. So using our triangle, it is very straightforward. As long as we know two things, we can find the third. Let's do this again. Draw our triangle one more time for practice. Uh, mm, current and voltage. I had to peek there. That's okay. In this question, the voltmeter measures 15 volts. So voltage is equal to 15 volts across a 45 watt resistor. So it's telling us what the power is through that resistor. So the power is equal to 45 watts. And we want to find out what the current is. Current is question mark. Um, so we cover up current. We have 45 divided by 15, right? We cover up current, that's power divided by voltage, 45 divided by 15 for a current of three amps. So there we go. Um, calculating power is just as easy as using Ohm's law. As long as we know two of them, we can find the other. There's now some practice problems for you to try. Uh, if you have questions about them, please let me know. And then after that, we have our electricity test and I'd like you to hand in your booklet. Thank you so much, um, everyone, for all your hard work, especially throughout this unit and in this crazy time. If this is the uh, first set or first couple sets of people that are watching this, um, I really appreciate all your effort and um, I'll see you guys in class. Thanks so much.